hungry. I think you forgot to tip the waiter. time. I got a lot of work to do today. Sam, my daughter has a young man coming she'd like to impress. You know how it is when a girl is over 30. I thought maybe you could possibly fix the radiators so they won't freeze. Look, Pops, I got 29 jobs to do here, and you're not even in the top 10. Sam, she's over 30. Yeah, well, she'll be over 40 before I get to your radiator. I got this hall to rewire. <laughs> Mama, I tried... Mama. You know, Papa, I don't understand gangsters. They try to hide out, but they wear shiny black suits and drive long black limousines. Who wouldn't know they were gangsters? All I know from gangsters is I'll bet they get their radiators fixed. <laughs> Come on, Mama, they'll do any second. You will go ahead and get the drinks. I'll be there. Stop. You're under arrest. I know a killer when I see one. Coming. Mama. Baby. <laughs> Mama, this is Rocky. John. Well? I know a killer when I see one. I'll, uh, I'll go get Papa. <laughs> Did you tell them what I do? Not yet. But I think you're silly. What's wrong with being a mortician? What's, well, it has a terrible effect on people. I've seen it a thousand times. Undertaker and their eyes glaze. They kind of look away. Half the time, they don't even offer to shake hands. They think I'm measuring them. Oh, poor baby. Mama, Papa, I'd like you to meet Rocky. Rocky? Uh, it's Rockwell. John Rockwell. I'm glad to know both of you. Sit down. <laughs> well. Oh. Rocky had such a time trying to park the car. He's got a black long limousine and... and um... You park downstairs? You'll get a ticket. <laughs> Not this limousine. <laughs> uh, beautiful place you have here, Mrs. Watkins. Nice view. I, uh, I, I like an apartment where you can see the whole street. He's being followed. Can't be. Here, give Rocky one of your homemade cookies. They're good. You'll like them. Oh, that's the doorbell. I'll get it. It's the fuzz. I'm looking for Mr. John Rockwell. 
Please. My daughter had nothing to do with it. Excuse me, baby. Oh, yes, officer. Mr. Rockwell, sorry to bother you, but... Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, us. Just a minute. Keep it down, will you? I'm off duty tomorrow, and I wondered, uh, will you be needing a motorcycle escort for any funerals? Uh, check the office in the morning. Fine. Hey! I still owe you for the last one, huh? man you got a nice thing going there with the police uh, listen they couldn't operate five minutes without them i think he's gonna ask me to marry you marry Shh, i think so uh, mix a drink with your rocky i gotta go talk to papa She's going to marry this mobster. Well, she is over 30. I can see it now. Bonnie and Clyde. What will people think? You think that's bad? Watch. Simpson. Mr. Simpson. I told you, stop bothering me. Simpson. In the street, there is standing a long black limousine with no parking ticket on it. So? It belongs to a man in a black shiny suit. My new son-in-law to be. Rocky. <laughs> and I thought you ought to know that it so happens Rocky don't like no cold apartments. I'll get on it right away. And thanks, Mr. Watkins. You see? Sometimes in a family, a little muscle is better than a lot of medicine. No use. My mind is made up. We might as well tell you. We know the kind of work you do. And either you change your work or I say, Kathy, get rid of him. Mama, that isn't very nice. What he does is nice. Well, Mrs. Watkins, death is as natural as life. <laughs> Somebody has to make the arrangements. <laughs> you come into Papa's business? Upholstery? Mama, Rocky makes ten times as much as Papa does. And he doesn't kiss me with a mouthful of tacks. There are worse thrills, believe me. Really, it's just like any other business. And we're doing well. We even have our own cemetery. <laughs> well, it's all fixed, Mr. Watkins. Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Rocky. I'm seeing about a new icebox, Mr. Watkins. Nothing but the best for my friends, the Watkins. Excuse me. Hello, Maurice. This is Mr. Watkins, your next door neighbor. Listen, Maurice, from now on, I would duck every time I see a long black limousine. I'm talking about the $120 you owe me. Mrs. Watkins, I love Kathy. Now, don't you think that's more important than the work I do? Love? You won't even go into upholstery. What kind of love is that? <laughs> Mama? You know that $120 Maurice owes me? I will give you my final word. Kathy, if you marry him, you are no daughter of mine. Mama, you're throwing away 120 bucks. <laughs> Darling, I want to talk to you. Come with me. Are you crazy talking to him like that? Okay, so I'll wind up at the bottom of the river in a cement house coat. <laughs> I just want you to know that this isn't like Mama at all. She's gonna love you. Well, she'd better, because she's about to become my mother-in-law. Oh. Oh, Rocky. Oh. Oh, Mama. Look. Sight unseen, it's hot. He took it from somebody. Oh, Mama. Kathy, this just isn't going to work. 
I'll never accept having a mortician in the family. Mortician? You're a mortician? Well, uh, why are you rushing off like this just when you gave my daughter such a beautiful ring? Huh? You, you mean you don't mind my being an You'll under... admit it takes a little getting used to. Now I'm used to it. Come, you'll have some cookies and you'll have some... Papa. I'll get it. <laughs> yes, Maurice? Here's your $120, plus, of course, the usual 8% interest. Maurice, my son-in-law-to-be is the biggest... Mama, please. Papa, I want to brag about my son-in-law, the mortician. Rocky, the mortician. So-called because he arranges all the funerals for the organization. <laughs> My sister's daughter married a doctor. You could work together. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> you disappointed, Papa? Well, for a while it was kind of nice. I was a uh, somebody. But let's look on the bright side of things. Our other daughter is under 30. Maybe she'll bring home a real Rocky. 